Hey there, Curtis Trades here, and welcome to my five year review of Fluid Film with my long term comparison test. Welcome to Curtis Trades. This will be my fifth year using Fluid Film for the winter. This is a snowy April winter morning, and uh, I'm going to show you the underside of my car compared to other cars that have not used Fluid Film, and so you can kind of see the difference in how well it protects it from rust over time. And um, if you've never been to my channel before, please check it out. I got a lot of different car stuff. I do video games. I got a little variety channel. So uh, subs are super helpful. And I'll be posting a new fluid film video every year. So check those out. And then I'm going to go over the things I like and dislike about fluid film and where it excels and where it does, could do a little bit better job. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, post them in the comments. So for those of you who don't know what fluid film is, basically it's what sheep use in their wool to wick water. It's called lanolin. The best thing about it is that it's self-healing and it creeps. And what that means is when you spray it on your undercarriage, you can't get it exactly in all the little tiny cracks and crevices because there's so many of them and they're up high underneath the frame and behind things. So when you spray fluid film under there, what it does is it creeps and you can see it on the sides of the door and on my back hatch. I didn't spray any on the back hatch or on the doors. I sprayed up in the drain holes on the doors and the hatch and it creeps around the outside of the car from the inside. So as you can see, it creeps about two inches in all directions. And so when you spray it on the underside, it really gets into all those little tiny spots that you couldn't actually get to with say a rubberized undercoating or paint even for that matter without doing a whole lot of disassembly. And so when you spray this, you don't have to do that perfect of a job because it self heals and covers in those spots that you missed, which is really nice. The other really nice thing is it heals over rock chips. If you use paint or an undercoating that hardens into a hard wax or into a rubberized type undercoating, if rocks bump up and chip those, they're permanently compromised. And unless you go under there and manually touch them up, they're going to be susceptible to getting moisture underneath. In fluid film what we'll do is if a rock hits it and takes some off or dirt or gravel what will happen is it'll creep back and cover those spots up again and so it's self-healing which is really awesome. Some of the other things that are nice about it are that it's much better for the environment than say if you use something like transmission oil. Um, I hear a lot of people using that or old, old motor oil. The other nice thing is you can buy it in cans out of spray nozzles so you don't have to have any other equipment. You can just lift your car up, crawl under there and spray around. It's relatively low cost. It's about $10 a can. I buy them in a six pack usually. The only negatives are it smells a little bit. I don't mind the smell too much. It reminds me of like an old adhesive type smell, like an old camper. Typically the smell goes away within a week or so. It's a little messy when it drips. And this is what it looks like right after I sprayed. This is what it looks like in the spring. This is about five or six months after I sprayed fluid film. This is actually the first time it's actually stayed on here in the spring. Usually it's all completely gone after winter. And I think that has to do with this winter has been very uh, mild compared to most winters. Usually we get anywhere from 100 to 150 inches of snow and this year we probably got only like 50 to 80 inches of snow somewhere in that range um, and again it's still April so winter's not over we've gotten four feet of snow in April before so um, yeah this isn't typical but this is what's left after this winter So if you notice here when I'm spraying this with the hose, it just doesn't want to come off at all. It's uh, on there pretty good. If you use a power washer, you can get it, but again, you have to be pretty close with the power washer. And it's, it's really sticky stuff, so it stays on really well. Don't think that the first time you drive through rain, it's all gonna wash off because it won't. And again, the, the longer it sits on there, the, the better it adheres and stays on there. So if you notice, you can see as I'm spraying the undercarriage here, it just kind of wicks off. It's almost like rain is on your windshield. The water is like repelled from it and doesn't want to stick to it at all. So this is again, really good stuff. So here's the underside of my car. This is after five winters in Michigan. And uh, as you can see, they put a lot of salt on the roads from the picture of my garage floor earlier. And um, not a whole lot has changed, I think, from year four to year five. Um, there's still a little bit of rust around some of the bolts and some of the weld points and on the shocks. 
um, but again it doesn't really look any worse than last year not visibly anyways and if I were to look at two of the pictures which I'll show you here side by side I honestly couldn't tell you which was year four and which was year five so that's a good sign so here is a picture I'm going to show you all four years compared here first one is after two winters three winters four winters and that's the mileage I'm at on those those winters as well so as you can see it really hasn't gotten too much worse after year three Here's a, some more pictures from other cars. This is one from California that obviously you can tell is no rust. Here's some pretty bad control arms. Here's one after five years, so pretty similar, only 30,000 miles as well, and it looks a lot worse. And then this one has 107,000 miles at seven years, and it is just terrible shape. And again, to think that mine will look like that in two years, um, if I didn't use fluid film, that would be something I would not be um, very happy with. So here are my final thoughts after my five year review of fluid film. Um, this year was a little different. I drove quite a bit less in the winter. I got a, a job that's a lot closer um, than my previous one. So I probably drove only about two to 3,000 miles this winter. And typically I drive like 6,000, six to 8,000 in the winter. Um, so that's a pretty big difference. And um, I think it helped out a lot. The fluid film was still really coated on there really well, as you could see from when I was spraying it. And um, I think if you're driving not a ton of miles in the winter, fluid film does super well. If you're driving a lot of miles, um, I would either suggest that you apply it a second time midway through the winter or just know that it's gonna wash off and leave your vehicle open to corrosion. That being said, I didn't notice much difference between this year's video and last year's video. They're pretty similar. There are a few little tiny spots where I noticed it was worse, but again, it's really, really minimal for having going through that many um, winters and um, just amazing how much salt corrodes these vehicles if they're left unprotected. So really, I can't see any downsides to using fluid film, especially if you plan on keeping your car longer than seven to 10 years. Um, again, you're gonna run into issues more of with major mechanical problems. Um, like say, if you get to 200, 300,000 miles, you're gonna run into transmission uh, and engine problems more than you are gonna have to worry about your car rotting out, especially if you use fluid film. Um, so I, I highly recommend it if you plan on keeping your car a while. Please subscribe because it's super helpful and I'll be posting another video next year. I also got a lot of car content on my channel too, so check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.